In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the tool Bulk Extractor and its GUI, VE Viewer, or Bulk Extractor Viewer. Bulk Extractor is a tool which can be used to scan a drive or a group of files or even a file itself um, or other sorts of devices and to pull out all sorts of different types of information such as credit card numbers, email addresses, domain names, uh, GPS coordinates, and a whole lot more. And basically, Bulk Extractor will pull out all these things and create a file um, a text file for each type of feature. So it'll have one file for credit card numbers, one file for email addresses, etc. Um, this is good if, say, you have a hard drive for analysis and you want to find out if it's sort of worth your analysis, if there's any useful information on it. Um, so you can feed it to Bulk Extractor and Bulk Extractor will tell you if um, what sort of information, if there's email addresses, you know, anything like that on it. Um, so it's a good way to maybe speed up an investigation or just for an initial analysis purpose. Um, bulk Extractor, in, in this video I'm just going to show you a general usage of how to sort of feed an image to Bulk Extractor and let it analyze it. Um, there are some more advanced features where you can, if say the feature you're looking for is not something that Bulk Extractor looks for normally, um, it's not a credit card number, it's not a telephone number, it's not from the whole list of features Bulk Extractor already looks for, um, you can give it a pattern to look for and it'll look for that as well. Um, you can also use stop lists, which basically say, like for an example with email addresses, um, you can say to Bulk Extractor, like, hey, you're going to find this email address, or if you do find this email address, it's okay, I don't care about that one, so ignore it. Um, so things like that. But we're not going to focus on that. We're just going to show basic usage of give a drive to Bulk Extractor and let it analyze it. Um, now you can see I'm using the CERT Fedora ADIA box here. Uh, bulk Extractor and its GUI BE Viewer are installed by default. Here you go. Uh, you can see the Viewer over here and Bulk Extractor over here. They're both installed by default on this machine. Um, the SIFT machine only includes Bulk Extractor by default. However, Bulk Extractor is compatible with Linux, Mac, and Windows even. Um, both of them, Bulk Extractor and BE Viewer. Um, so you can really install, install them for, um, for your operating system. So let's move ahead and sort of see how this works. Um, so we look at the man pages for Bulk Extractor. We can see, like I said, it scans an image over here. Um, the command we're going to give it is Bulk Extractor O, which will specify the output directory. Um, that output directory must not exist. Bulk Extractor creates it. If it does exist, Bulk Extractor will fail. Um, and then the options we're not going to use, those are some of the things I talked about before. And then the image that we wanted to scan. So for our purposes, we're going to use this image, which I obtained from a group of images online that are distributed for research and education purposes. If you want to find this image, it's in the resources section of the module. There's a link to the page where I got it from. Um, but we're going to give Bulk Extractor. So like I said, we'll specify the output directory. Let's call it Bulk Demo. And then we'll give it my image and we'll run. And you can see that Bulk Extractor is now executing. Um, and obviously, it's a two gigabyte drive, I think, about. So it might take a few minutes. Uh, it's telling us that there's six minutes left. Well, now there's seven. Um, so, but when this is done, um, we'll be able to analyze all the output. Um, however, since this will take a while to finish, I went ahead and ran through this earlier. I basically did the exact same thing, exact same command. And the output is right here on my desktop, this um, directory. Uh, the only difference between this directory here that we're creating now is just where it's located. So what we're going to do is instead of letting that finish, let's um, analyze the one that I already made earlier in the interest of time. And you can see that when Bulk Extractor is finished, um, it creates a directory, Bulk Demo, what we called it. And in that directory, it'll have everything it pulled out. So you have a file with credit card numbers, file with credit card track two, telephone numbers, um, URLs, GPS, emails, etc. Um, many of these features will also give you a histogram file. So while the, um, say the credit card.txt file over here, um, that'll just give you the um, credit card numbers it's found and some surrounding data from the drive. The histogram will give you a count of how many of each um, how many of each credit card number it found, for example. So just to show you how this looks, let's um, look at, say, credit card numbers. 
and you can see that I found two credit card numbers. Those numbers are right here and here. Um, and the other information, what's over here, bulk extractor is telling you the location on the drive where it found it. And over here, it's giving you the surrounding data. So the, um, the information on the drive right before the credit card number and right after the credit card number. Um, so just maybe if you were looking for, there may be some useful information surrounding it. Um, so it's just showing you what was there. Um, and then, so you can see the histogram. Let's show you what the histogram looks like. And you can see, it just tells you that, hey, we found two credit card numbers and each one was found once. Um, before we finish with that, let me just show you a little more interesting one over here. And I'm gonna use less, less outputs, um, contents of a file, one screen at a time. Um, otherwise this will just overflow my screen. Um, but if we look at, say, the email histogram with all the email addresses I found, uh, you can see that the top one found was found 27,000 times, and it's a pretty, I don't know about familiar, but it's a pretty obvious uh, email address right here. Um, but so this may be, like I said before, where I was talking about stop lists, so you can tell Bulk Extractor, hey, here's some, some email addresses or something that you can safely ignore. Um, so this may be something you'd put on that because clearly this is not what we're looking for, this email address, but maybe some of the other ones down here are. Um, but that's basically Bulk Extractor. Uh, obviously, I didn't go into all these files over here, but they're all pretty much the same in terms of what they have. One will have credit card numbers, one will have emails, you know, URLs, etc. Um, obviously, beware of false positives. Bulk Extractor is good, but it's not perfect. Um, but besides for that, it's just a great tool to have, a great tool to use to sort of just find out what's on your drive. Um, so that's it for Bulk Extractor itself. Now, like I said, that there's also a BE Viewer, the GUI for Bulk Extractor. Um, now to sort of show you, to show you how it works, I'm actually gonna switch to my Windows machine just to show you BE Viewer on a different operating system. You could use um, BE Viewer on this machine as well. Um, but just to show you on a different one, let's move over here to my Windows one. And this is the main screen for BE Viewer when you open it, Bulk Extractor Viewer. Um, and what you'll do is you'll start a scan with Bulk Extractor. You'll either use this button here or you can run Bulk Extractor. Um, it'll ask you for an image file, um, just like Bulk Extractor did, and I, I pre-filled this in earlier. Um, it'll ask you for an output feature directory where we want the output to go to. I'm gonna save it on my desktop as BE Demo 2. And we're gonna use the same image we used before. Um, it asks you which scanners you wanna use. These are the ones set by default, I didn't change that. And then some other information that we're gonna leave all for the default, because for our basic tutorial, this is enough. But like I said, you'll notice that you can use a stop list file, uh, or you can ask it to find some of your own uh, patterns, your own regular expressions. Um, but that's all we need to do, basically, is tell it we're looking for an image, or we're giving it an image, I mean, um, here's the image we're giving it, and here's where we want the output to go. And then we will start it, and you can see that it's now processing. Um, obviously, like with Bulk Extractor, this will take a while, so again, I'm not gonna let it run through completely, um, although you can see that it's moving. It's 3.19% done over here, and now it's almost 4% done. Um, but it will finish pretty soon, and you can analyze it. Um, however, again, in the interest of time, I ran this through earlier, and I'm gonna use the results from that to sort of show you um, how you can analyze the results. Uh, so let's cancel this for now. And obviously we don't have any results because I canceled it. But what I can do is instead, we can open a report um, from earlier and I am going to copy in the location of a report that I have. Um, the report.xml is one of the files, I guess I didn't show you well, I can show you, you know what? Going back to the Fedora one where we had bulk extractor, one of the, one of the files that will be output when you run bulk extractor is report.xml. Um, that doesn't actually contain your, any of your information here, but it's, it's a report really in XML format. Um, and we're now back to Windows, sorry. Um, so when we're opening it in bulk in BE Viewer, we'll give it the report and Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Um, this is what I ran earlier, same thing, BE demo. Same thing we were just running now. Um, and here you can see, here's my directory and all the output files that we saw before in the cert box. Um, same thing would happen in BE viewer. 
Um, so let's just do the same thing. I'll show you the credit card numbers. And here you can see that it's kind enough to give you the credit card numbers it found, the location on the disk, and then it actually gives you in hex um, the location on the disk where it was found, the actual exact location. Um, I'm actually representing the locations in hex. I think by default, um, no, actually, no, that was in text, sorry. That was in decimal, I like it, I prefer it in uh, hex over here, um, where you can actually see the, um, the addresses on the drive, uh, where it found this credit card number. I think it starts over here, yeah. Um, and obviously somewhere else in the drive we'll find this credit card number. If we look at the histogram file, you'll see that it found each one once, um, and then you can go where it found it, and obviously it'll show you where it is on the disk. You can also search, so say I wanted to know if there was a credit card number started with 4097, and clearly you can see that it's right here, and if I click on it down here, it'll give it to me on the drive itself. Um, same thing for anything else, so we can look at telephone numbers, um, and we're still filtering, sorry. Now it's giving me all the telephone numbers, um, and you can see that Sometimes the accompanying information about the telephone numbers can be useful because it tells you other things like here there's an address. Um, I believe this drive that I that we're analyzing, I think it was used to sort of browse some government websites just to create the demo drive. So some of this information may relate to some office buildings. Uh, I don't know any more than that really. Um, but again, just you can see that we can look at any of the files here. Um, and find out all sorts of information about anything really. So that's pretty much everything about Bulk Extract here and BE Viewer. Um, there are more things you can do, like I mentioned, there are some advanced features. We're not going to talk about it, but hopefully this will start you off in Bulk Extractor, which is a great tool to use, to be able to use, and you can sort of move on from there and use some of the advanced features. Uh, so thanks for listening, and I hope you, this was beneficial.